to being tabled. Yes, yes. There is objection. <laughs> Quest order. Question number 12, Jenny Salisa. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health and asks, does he take any responsibility after nine years of a national-led government for delivering a health system where in just four weeks more than 700 elective surgeries in Auckland have been postponed, leading cl to clinicians saying it's not a sustainable system? The Honourable Dr Mr. Jonathan Speaker. Coleman. Yes, including 18,500 extra elective surgeries and 48,000 more first specialist assessments across Auckland, as well as the new $39 million elective surgery centre, the $9 million Waitakere ED and the $10 million North Shore Outpatients Clinic. In regards to so-called elective delays due to winter-type illnesses, I've been informed this afternoon that there have been no elective delays at Waitamata DHB due to winter illnesses, which calls into question the basic premise of her question. Be that as it may, despite one million flu vaccinations this year, there has been an unusually large number of presentations at hospitals. However, the district health boards have processes in place to cope. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jenny Salisa. How will he respond to the record demand and bed shortages in Auckland, which led to the county's Manukau chief medical officer saying it is the highest and fastest rate of increase in demand for services the DHB has ever experienced? The Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman. Well, Mr Speaker, I think the member should uh, remember that there's $57 million more going into counties Manukau this year as of the 1st of July, and that provides funds for that DHB to distribute as they see fit to meet population growth and demand pressures. Supplementary. Supplementary question. Jim. Did he check with every DHB around the country before he claimed on checkpoint last Friday that every DHB is managing to deliver the operations that are needed? Well, Mr the Speaker, I don't Jonathan need Coleman. to uh, check with DHBs around that because it's a fact that we're delivering 50,000 more operations than eight years ago. I mean, you only have to look at those Auckland Regional District Health Boards, where the percentage of operations at Auckland DHB has gone up by 60 per cent over nine years, Counties Manukau an increase of 34 per cent, and at Waitamata DHB the percentage of electives has increased by 74 per cent over nine years. That's a whopping extra 8,500 operations per year for the people of the Waitamata District Health Board. So the answer is no. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jenny Salisa. What action has he taken in the last two years to decrease GP fees for adults in light of the 44 per cent increase in the average GP fee since 2008? which can force people to turn up to hospitals for health, health services. The well, Mr Speaker, I've government. got to say these are much better questions than Order, I'm used to we'll facing. But, answer, uh, be you. that as it may, uh, the member knows that uh, GP fees are actually set uh, in consultation with the DHB. But the bigger picture is there's an extra $5 billion that's gone into health under the course of this government to increase access to health services. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jenny Salisa. After nine years in government, is it now acceptable to him that patients are forced to sleep in waiting rooms in Auckland Hospital because there are no spaces available for them? The Honourable Dr. Well, look, I'd have to go and verify those claims, but I think it's pretty unlikely. The fact is that services at Auckland District Health Board have increased dramatically, and there's another $69 million going to that DHB as of the 1st of July this year to complement the extra $436 million that Auckland DHB has received over nine years. But look, there's no doubt that in health there's always more to do. And that concludes questions for oral answer. Oh, no, well, I just, like, would some honourable member care to move that the House takes note of miscellaneous business? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Well, Mr.